The Classic Squat is one of the greatest overall leg builders out there, but every so often we really just want to zone in on our quads, and that's when we take that squat, we evolve it a little bit, and we do a different exercise called the Heels Elevated Goblet Squat. Now this is an exercise that's gotten a lot more popular in recent years, in part because it's really going to zone in and focus on your quads once we add that elevation, and in part because in general for a lot of people, elevation is gonna be a little bit friendlier to their squat overall. When we do a traditional squat, if you're doing it on flat ground, a lot of times you need a great deal of Achilles tendon flexibility, and not a lot of people have that, so adding elevation to your squat in general is gonna make it easier to perform the squat. When we do it in this particular style, with the heels elevated goblet squat though, we're really gonna attack our quads. You're gonna wind up training a lot of abdominal and postural benefit with this too, because we have to hold and maintain that goblet position, and we're still gonna get a fair amount of glute and hamstring in there, but the focus winds up being our quads. So who are our ideal people to really do this heels elevated goblet squat? Really, it is anybody, because it can serve a variety of roles within your workout. If you're somebody who's just going for overall leg size and strength, then this is a great lift for you because we're gonna zone in on our quads, we're gonna keep that focus there, and we're gonna pile up a lot of really good volume. This winds up being a high rep exercise as opposed to some of our other squats where we're gonna go say three sets of three to five reps. So this is great for anybody who's chasing leg hypertrophy, who really wants to grow that teardrop in their quads. If you're a power lifter though, or if you're a functional athlete, you can still get a lot out of this as well, because one, it's gonna mix up your training and get you away from the standard squats that you've been doing, and two, we're gonna get to create that quad size, and we're gonna get to really work on our form, and we're gonna get to work on keeping an upright torso. That's the underrated piece that we get here. Also, if you're somebody who's struggling a little bit with your ankle flexibility, when you're just doing standard squats, where your feet are flat on the ground. Adding that elevation is gonna help. It's gonna change a little bit of the target muscle, as we've said. You're gonna wind up really zoning in on your quads, but by adding that elevation, you're gonna find a much more comfortable angle for your feet. So how do we set up to do the heels elevated goblet squat? These days, you're gonna see a lot of slant boards and other accessories that are gonna really create that elevation nice and easily and give you somewhere where you can put your entire foot, but you actually don't really even need any of that. We can just use plates, you can use one or two plates, and that can be enough to create the elevation. I'm gonna wind up putting my heels against this once I'm set to do this squat. Now the thing you wanna think about is how much elevation do you need? If you don't have great Achilles flexibility, then you actually want a higher elevation. The closer this gets to the ground, the more our heel is gonna be challenged to stay on the ground when we're doing the squat. So the higher up, the more elevation we create, the easier it's gonna be for us to find our position. I'm gonna go with two plates here and that's generally a really good way to start. Think about doing two 45 pound plates. There is no virtue in starting with less elevation and creating more challenge for your Achilles flexibility. When we do this squat, we're trying to get the knee in front of the toe. We're trying to make the dominant lever in our squat the knee. That way we can really keep this focused on our quads. From there, setting up is nice and easy. All we wanna do is we wanna follow our basic rules for the goblet squat. And this can be a kettlebell or a dumbbell. We wanna hold our weight up high. Think about squeezing your elbows together. Don't let your arms flare out. Squeeze your elbows together. And then we wanna create tension in a three-step pattern. I wanna make sure I'm squeezing my glutes, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades, and I'm squeezing my abs and keeping my rib cage nice and tight. Then all I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a relatively close stance. Remember, we're trying to focus this on our quads. And I'm gonna think about leaning my heels right up against my weight plates. Again, more elevation is okay. More elevation is actually a great way to start. You can reduce that elevation if you need, but remember you're focusing not necessarily on getting your heels down to the ground. That doesn't matter. What we're focusing on is we wanna really feel this in our quads. From here, we're just gonna go right into a rep, and it's now that you're gonna to start to understand the strength of this heels elevated goblet squat. So I'm thinking about keeping my knees, I'm not gonna let them flare and open up, I'm thinking about keeping them right in front of me, and all I'm gonna do is lower down into that squat, and now we see instantly why this is such a great quad builder, because my torso is back, my knees are out in front, of my toes, so a lot of quad strain. And when I drive up, 
I get to stand up, we'll go back down. When I'm in this position, this whole lever is back. My torso is back and that's really putting a lot of strain on my quads. So it's lower down and lower down as far as you can and then stand back up. And just doing this with a 35 pound dumbbell, that's all I'm using here, I can already feel a ton of strain. In terms of how far you're trying to lower down, think about going down as far as you can. The more you go down, you're gonna wind up getting a great stretch on your quads. At the same time, if you don't quite have that mobility, you can just chase going down, getting your thighs parallel to the ground. You're still gonna get plenty of challenge for your quads, and as you drive up, you're gonna wind up hitting again. You'll challenge your quads, which have to drive our knees straight. You're gonna get a lot of glute and hamstring in there as well because we're still extending at the hip as we drive up from the squat. So that is your heels elevated gobble squat, and this is not a low rep exercise. Save your three to five sets of three to five reps. Save that for your front squats, your back squats. The one thing with the gobble squat in general is we're capped a little bit because we have to pick that dumbbell or kettlebell up and we have to hold it at our chest. So our upper body is gonna be a limiter in terms of how much we can load. This is a high rep weapon in your workout. So think about putting it a little bit later in your leg workout after you've done say heavy squats, heavy deadlifts, heavy lunges. And then we come to our heels elevated gobble squat near the end of the workout and think about keeping those reps up around three to four sets. You're chasing 12 to 15 reps every single set, focusing on creating really, really good quad tension. You can also vary up the tempo on this. You can pause in the bottom of that goblet squat. That's really gonna challenge your quads and you're gonna really have to own that bottom position. We can do regular tempo reps or one other weapon you have in here. We can go to a body weight heels elevated squat and you can just think three to four seconds down, three to four seconds up. And that constant tempo is going to wind up challenging your quads a lot more than you may think. It's a great way to end the workout. In general, the heels elevated goblet squat is a great finisher. It's a great piece within a superset. Say you go heels elevated goblet squats and then you go right into Romanian deadlifts. And there are just lots of ways to use this in your workouts, all of which will challenge those quads and build those quads, which is exactly what you're chasing if you're watching this video. So go to the heels elevated goblet squat, enjoy it, and trust me, your legs will grow.